We stand at a critical point in our history. Already at the beginning of the year, we are facing the largest humanitarian crisis since the creation of the United Nations. Because of the high temperatures, it's really hard to grow plants in these regions of Africa. So we decided to go below the surface. The desert dome can be divided into several areas. Each part is independent, so it's not crucial whether we use all rooms. Solar panels that are orientating themselves to the sun provides the whole desert dome with energy. For the first room we decided to use the sunlight by reflecting it vertically into the room. For that we had to create a formula that aligns the mirror in the correct angle. We tracked the position of the sun and converted it into a rotation for the mirror. We split the second room into two parts. At the walls we got plants on rotating plates so they are illuminated evenly from all sides. In the second system the bottom plants are watered and the top plants are illuminated. For the last room we created an aquaponic system that combines fish farming and the cultivation of plants. There is a tower in every corner. Each tower is divided into several levels. The beds for the plants hang between those towers. The main element moves successively to each individual bed. A water cycle as shown in the diagram is created. To supervise the desert dome we developed a website. Temperature, humidity and brightness in every room are measured by an Arduino that also controls ventilation and cooling for each room. The data gets sent to the server and can be accessed on the website for every single room. When selecting the plants we took yield, space requirement and nutrient content as well as the food culture into account. We also used allopathic interaction and the mycorrhiza fungus to increase the yield.